Hey everybody, just gonna show you my bicycle, my bike, packing bike, my do everything bike. So there's not a lot of, there, there's some, but there's not a lot of bike packing videos out there. So I just wanted to share my bike, you know, bike packing touring, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, but the whole idea here generally is that you're going out for a couple days, um, you're camping, and for me, you know, I want to share a bit of my philosophy, a bit of why I chose this bike. So this particular bike is a Jameis Renegade Exploit. It's a steel bike. This is a Reynolds 631 steel. So it's very comfortable. Reynolds steel, of course, it's, it's going to be heavier than a, an aluminum or carbon fiber bike. But the trade-off is, is price point compared to carbon fiber. Comfort compared to both, in my opinion. So it's really, really, really comfortable. I love the bike. It's very durable. You know, if you happen to be somewhere and, and get your frame cracked or something, more people are going to be able to, to weld this than you know, repair carbon fiber or weld aluminum, which is harder. Uh, so on the bike, went with a very kind of a, a bike packing setup, not a traditional touring setup. So one of the things about bike packing setups is that they are lighter, generally, not always, you know, depending on what you get. Hi puppy, there's my puppy. She's wonderful. Uh, so. You also really a lot of it is just having this clear line at the bottom. So if you are going on single track mountain bike trails, stuff like that, you're you're not going to be having stuff in the way. Uh, the other thing, kind of a misconception that I want to clear up is that a lot of people think with panniers that your bike is going to be a lot more stable. I've I've had a bike and ridden a bike for quite a while with more of a traditional touring setup. Not true, not true at all. When you're riding, the the more close to your body and to the center line that, that your weight is, the more comfortable it's gonna be, the less affected by, by tilting that is gonna be. Uh, one of the drawbacks here is gonna be that your center area is, is filled with a frame bag on my particular bike. So it can get pretty affected by wind, but you know, everything has its trade-offs. Uh, I ride with a buddy who his touring bike loaded down is total weight about 100 pounds. This bike, total weight, you're looking at about 40 pounds, depending. So a little bit more with with water, but you're, you're around 35 to 40 pounds total, which is not bad. So uh, 45 at the max, depending on water weight. So you're really only carrying, you know, somewhere in the 20-ish pound range on a setup like this. And keep in mind that, you know, with a backpacking, if you're doing ultralight, uh, you're going to be a lot lighter because your backpack is going to be a lot lighter. With this, your, your bags are more spread out. Generally, they're going to be a bit more heavy duty uh, on a setup like this. So can I give you a quick rundown? Uh, I'm five foot ten. Five foot nine, so I ride about a 54 to 55 in terms of the frame size. We got up here just on the outside. I usually carry like a water resistant windbreaker, lightweight. This thing is so warm though, really really warm. Cuts out pretty much all the wind, but you can still vent under your armpits and stuff. Uh, this is a fair weather bag. Uh, I got a little. Thermarest seat pad under there, which also uh, I do hammock camping, so this helps get a little extra insulation on your feet. Somewhere to sit down right away when you get to camp if you're tired and don't get your camp up right away. Pretty much there on back in terms of all the gear, it's Revelate Designs. Now we got uh, this is a little pouch that they do. I can't remember what it's called, but really nice. You can put a little something up there. I use it to hold down my tarp. I need my tarp to get out right away if I hit rain. When I get to camp, 
this needs to be accessible. Doesn't matter if it gets wet. We got their, their seat bag, the bigger one. I think it's like a Versace or something like that. We got their uh, two, it's like a gas can and a jerry can or whatever. Uh, in, in here, I'm gonna have my uh, quilts for my hammock. In the front, I got my hammock. Got a little bit of clothing that I would only wear with the hammock. Up here, we got the mountain feed bags. Got water bottles in those. Got some food on the side. In here, got a power brick. Got a little bit of food. Power brick's gonna be in a, in a bag. In here, we got our heavy stuff. Extra bottle down there. So we got three water bottles. You can supplement that. You can plop another bottle in the middle, perhaps. Uh, if you're wearing a jersey, you can put a couple water bottles in your jersey. So carry quite a bit of water on here. I really like the disc brakes. These are kind of a hybrid, hydraulic, and mechanical, really nice. So I'm gonna do my best here to kind of plop out my gear, kind of show you how I pack a bike packing bike, just kind of show you what I like about it. So some of the ideas here too, um, hey, some of the ideas are that with a minimal setup, you're not gonna need to access a lot of stuff really easily. Um, your water, a little bit of food, perhaps your jacket. There's not a lot you're gonna need to access really easily. So some of the huge advantages of a traditional touring setup, with a traditional touring setup with your big bags in the front, the back, perhaps a hard, hard, you know, type bag up here, you can get in and out of those really quick. This is kind of a pain in the butt to, to load this up. So with traditional setups, you can access your gear really fast, but on these shorter trips, I don't really need to do that. So, you know, I, I need to access very little. So I'm just gonna kind of run through it real quick, bust everything out, I'll show you what all I've got here. So, like I said, I've got uh, kind of just basically just tied down to this front. I have my, my little, you know, windbreaker. It, it, it does pretty well in the rain. I also got a phone mount, GoPro, uh, and quad lock kind of mount, little bell, tuned bell, really nice. Got a couple water bottles here in my feed bags, a little bit of food accessible up here. I'm gonna have a power brick. Gotta run the cord through this, but have it still in this to kind of double up on the water protection. Though this bag, I've never gotten water in it. Got a tail light in here, got a little bit of extra food in here. Uh, you can slide a little bit of extra food in these if need be. Uh, in the front up here, this bag is not very water resistant. I found the front bag. Uh, so this uh, fair weather stuff, I like the design and I can come back and, and hold a map in there accessible, but not very water resistant. I don't carry anything in the front that I need to stay dry unless I put it in a bag. I got a basic knife there. Uh, I'm gonna have a couple, I got a couple tubes extra tubes up here. Most of my repair kits in here. I do a very minimal repair kit on the on most trips. Uh, reason why I believe in making sure that everything is good at home and then hoping that you don't have issues. I don't feel like carrying 20 pounds of bicycle stuff. So I got a very minimal stove set up. It's a Snow Peak titanium pot. This might switch over if I have more people. I got, a, I got like a wind boiler system and stuff. Very basic, fancy piece stove, uh, basic aluminum uh, wind screen in there. This weighs so little, very lightweight. That's all I got in the, in the front low pouch part. And then uh, I do have, like I said, my, my sit pad down here. So if I get into camp and I'm really tired and you know, I don't get my hammock up yet or something, you got this insulated sit pad. I found uh, my last camping trip I went on that I really, wanted one of these. Um, not only if you're using a lighter weight insulation, which you'll see me using in here, this can supplement your feet if your feet get cold, uh, but it's nice to have something insulated and soft to sit on on the ground if you're not carrying like a chair or something with you. I really like this. I think it's great. Um, this bag might be kind of a pain to get into. Uh, so it is one of the drawbacks of these types of systems. So I'll do my best. We'll see. We'll see if I can rustle this out. So uh, 
I, the one thing that I have noticed about this bag is it's, it's a little grippy in terms of the material. So that is a drawback of it, but you know, that's okay. Usually when I would get to camp, I would just kind of take the bag off. Um, as I said, one of, the, one of the drawbacks of these types of systems is that they are not quite as easy to get into as a traditional system, but what your payoff is is that they're going to be really simple. This might take a little bit longer to pack up, but you are going to be, a, you know, a lot lighter. So that is a struggle. Front bag is the biggest struggle. So I'm using uh, Sea to Summit Evac Events. Really nice. They're waterproof. They've got this little bit of event material here. You push on it, it pushes air out through it, and it's kind of nice because you can kind of conform it to shape. So I conform it to that shape, but as you can see, it's a little sticky coming out. So in here, this is kind of my sleep system. I've got some thermal underwear here. Got some wool socks. Got this thing, which my girlfriend recently got for me. These are amazing. So it's an Ibex merino wool, like a half, half zip hoodie. These are amazing. I'll do a video on it some other time. The hood on those are amazing. They fit really well, just really, really great. And then I got my hammock system. It's a hammock netty with Dutch wear suspension. I'll go into that some other time too. So that's my hammock. So that's all that's in this bag. Pretty lightweight. Uh, the hammock is, is pretty light. So back here in this guy, just got my repair kit. My repair kit is very minimal. Uh, got pressure gauge because some trails you might want to lower your pressure of your tires. Also for pumping up. Uh, I need to know what pressure it is. My, my pump doesn't have a pressure gauge. Got a basic tool, some patches, some tire levers, uh, multi-tool in there. So it's all pretty basic. Like I said, I roll with a pretty minimal kit in terms of my bicycle repair kit. Moving to the back, got a hammock here, human fiber, tarp, rain fly. Got some basic like MSR mini stakes in there, uh, groundhog stakes. So really light, tarp is like six ounces, so not a lot of weight up here. And then moving to the back, Another Seed Summit Evac sack, which I really like. It allows me to press it down quite a bit. What I've got in here right now for the summer, because it's really warm in Minnesota, we got a couple uh, Walmart stitch it together basic things that I had altered into top quilts and bottom quilts. I do have a set of hammock gear down top and bottom quilts that I'll use in any kind of weather that's not what it is right now. I can compress those down pretty close to what these are. They weigh about the same. These will keep you warm down to perhaps 50 degrees. But with the extra clothing I have and the pad, I could jump down to 40 degrees and be fine. As you can see too, I got an extra bottle down here. You might not be able to see it, but I got three bottles, which I did show earlier. Over here, I have a more just basic camp supplies. I just pop some, you know, see the summit like wilderness wash in there. Uh, I got a, my bike helmet doesn't have a visor. So I've got this super lightweight Giro uh, visor. Got a little bit of extra food and stuff over here. I wear glasses, so I have a cloth over here for cleaning my glasses. Uh, if I pop to the other side here, this is where the big pocket is on this bag. I got a pump over here. I'll just leave that in there. It's a, it's kind of a bike pump. I got some food, a couple meals. I got a, this is an alcohol holder. So this will hold four ounces of alcohol fuel. These are great. They're an algae they don't leak. Four ounces is enough for an overnighter uh, with some extra. Then I have eight ounce ones too, so. Now, inside this little guy here, 
got a tail light, so for some reason I needed to be out biking at night, I got a tail light. I don't have a front light for the bike, I just have a headlamp. This thing is crazy bright, it's a thousand lumen night core, it's amazing. So I don't want to take a bike light and that, I can just use that if I'm out riding at night. I've got first aid bathroom, toothpaste, toothbrush, all that type of stuff in here. Got extra underwear and socks in here, both those pretty good with the water. And I got this little thing, this is a UCO Leshy. It's a cute little, uh, basically like a little, little lantern, which I like. It's a flashlight, not super bright, but fairly bright. It's got a few settings and uh, hangs up, it's a lantern. One of the things I, I do like about it is that it's got this stretchy thing here, which you can just kind of hook on stuff, which is which is great. So if I want to hook it to that, just stretch that over, boom, it's it's hooked to that now. So inside of my my hammock, I have my ridge line, hook it over the ridge line, it's good. If I get into camp late, hook it over a stick or something like that, aim it on on my camp to light up the camp or something. So really great, really small, lightweight. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's anything else. Not much else in terms of stuff to show you. That's about it. That's my that's my gear. You know, my, my pump is a Lee Zion. I can't remember what it's called, but for me, the idea of the bike packing is simplicity, minimalism, and comfort so i don't sacrifice any comfort with this setup you know i have the wind boiler if i needed to go with more than one person or if i was facing adverse conditions or if i simply just want to boil stuff super fast this thing is ridiculous but i'm i'm losing at least 10 ounces by just carrying this so um that's one of the reasons why. So this is my basic setup. Uh, if you have any questions or anything like that, just give me a holler. And uh, hopefully I covered everything and, and hopefully maybe this will be helpful for some ideas for other people. So have a good one. Peace.